Okay, so I'm taking a bit more of a break from Pokemon build right now to focus on this Mediterranean house and I'm thinking I'm actually going to build a little bit on uh, Isle of Awakening and just keep doing this series about uh, finding your way when you are a bit lost because I'm still not sure outside of the Pokemon building what I want to do so I'm focusing on this house to just sort of help build my creativity. So in the last part I had left it pretty much at this point and I had a rough idea of what my first sort of concept for this base part was going to be which was a restaurant and I wanted to start like the other sort of decoration breaks we've had just put in a few of the decorative elements that are going to define the functionality sometimes that will sort of solidify the idea you've had and then sometimes in other cases it might change it so here I am adding in my coffee beans and all that which I knew I wanted at the back and the idea was to make it a cafe but once I put it in and put in an archway in the middle it ended up looking a little bit more like a bar so iteration which in this context is just versions of what you're creating is a good idea when you're stuck so what I mean by that is don't see your changes or quote-unquote failures when you're building as failures um, they're simply iterations they're versions of you working out what you want to design sometimes working out that something looks terrible is a good thing well it's always a good thing really because what it means is you can improve it and you've learned something so here I tried out a feature wall um, I dyed a lot of well not too many just for a test I dyed a bunch of different blue red and black uh, lattice and carved tiles because I wanted to kind of make like a feature lattice in that section um, but I did it up and it didn't look great and I also realized that I was putting in probably too much if I wanted all of those plants in the back then a big fancy archway was only going to take away from that so I started changing it to a simple archway put in the plants and then I was from there I had different versions different iterations that I could consider if you're really wanting to put effort into a build um, you shouldn't expect to get things right the first time um, sometimes you'll need to make four of something and then the one you decide on still ends up not being the very last one you go in but uh, like I said it's still part of a learning process learning what not to do is just as important as learning what to do and sometimes you'll come back to something that failed a long time ago um, and you'll realize down the track having gained more skills that you can actually improve on and create something really great from something that failed previously so here I decided I wanted to fill out that room because I wanted to like the bottom part decide what the actual functionality is of the room to help me create the design itself um, another thing I really recommend when you're feeling stuck is to ask yourself some questions about the purpose of what you're doing in terms of the actual game so asking myself what will be the functionality of both of those rooms up there helped me start to get a picture of what this building was going to be at this point I decided I wanted maybe like a relaxation room up there and a banquet table um, to create some kind of like private area for some sort of royalty so that's sort of where I started getting the castle idea from that sort of stuck um, I've actually just started moving this build over to uh, the Isle of Awakening and it hasn't totally stuck we're changing it now to like a nobles castle but again in terms of versions and iterations at this point thinking of it as a castle helped me get a lot further and so now that I'm feeling a little bit more confident that I have an idea of what this is going to be I've decided that the corridor going down to the left is then going to house some sort of some of the castle buildings at the very least like a throne room 
And so thinking about if we want to enter from where that first wall is that we built, we want to start creating some features to draw the eye to the areas that we actually want people to look at and draw the eye away from the areas that we don't want people to focus on. So here what I'm doing is I'm starting to build a garden and I'm going to put down some teal leaves as the base. Um, I wanted to do that because I want to put down some fancy lights underneath so that I can have a nice glowing effect. I need the chalk blocks so that I can place the lights. They have to have a block above it. Um, but the idea will be then that we'll have a nice glow coming from this garden. So once we eventually finish it, it will be one of the feature areas. And soon, um, once it's all done, when we have the feature dome on top, it means that whole area from top to bottom is what people are sort of looking at. And now that I have gotten a little bit more confidence in the fact that I have some kind of direction, um, I'm not going to finish the garden right now. I really do think because this is a creative process, you kind of have to let yourself to an extent do the bits you want to do. Sometimes you have to force yourself to do the bits you don't want to. But especially when you're not feeling motivated, going to do the fun parts is good but also take that opportunity once you're feeling inspired to do something more complex or creative take that because I mean if you enjoy creating and decorating you'll always be able to come back to it but sometimes it's the design and trial and error that can be the most frustrating parts so because I'm starting to get a little bit of confidence and a little bit of an idea in my mind and I'm looking at these photos I decide to start doing the thing that I've been putting off a little bit at this point, which is trying to attempt this nice dome structure that we're going to create. So now that I've got the hallway here is where, when I'm looking at these pictures of Moroccan houses, I start getting the idea of these sort of dome-like um, or facades that are sometimes roofs and sometimes just like a flat decoration on the front. So I'm now thinking that I want to attempt that using the diagonal curves, knowing that we're not going to be able to do any underneath curves. We'll need to make it a sort of like a pop-up. And now that I've been using the teal leaves, I've found that I can probably comfortably keep using that as an accent. And so in that hallway, I've created that strip so that we can see the teal coming through. And again, that's just going to be something I'll use intermittently throughout the build to help create that continuity. So to try and do this decorative arch, we're gonna use pretty similar techniques to what we use to do the Pokemon sign for Lavender Town. So pretty much just going to try a few different effects of going three or four up, one in, one up, two in, one up, just a few variations of one or two in and up, sometimes even three if you've got the space, and then just going back and chiseling all of the outside pieces so that it looks semi-curved. And usually at that point you will have a relatively then either empty or plain section in the middle um, but again it's one of those times where don't let that put you off you will be able to come back and fill that later with a million different types of decoration or leave it as an open archway depending on what you're trying to do as well so for now I decide on this I actually go back um, at one point once we're using the castle tiles and change it um, but like other parts in terms of just being able to inspire myself this is giving me a general idea of what I want to do and now I'm looking up different sort of Mo Moroccan style housing pictures to see what kind of designs they use and I try a few different ones like the um, spaceship sort of viewing dome to see if I can get something that looks round but it, it looks terrible so I end up going back and at first I just fill it completely with adobe knowing I can fill it with greenery later um, but I could also have left it blank and put some coffee in there and here I'm just testing the borders with plaster just to see how the idea of a border looks and I'd made it one bigger but I realized that was actually a good thing as well because it became more of a feature 
and remember we just done the garden below it so we now know that that whole area when you're standing in front of the castle from top to bottom is going to be drawing your eye or more so because you're walking into the low level it's going to be drawing your eye bottom to top so you're going to notice probably the garden first and then that uh, middle section where there's the hallway and then you're going to notice on top that nice big design and as well because we've got that smaller archway with the sky being able to be viewed at the back that's because it's just adjacent to our main feature that's another thing that's going to be drawing the eye away from the planar walls around it And just to add a few features, I've popped another fancy light behind the adobe there so the light will shine through. And just threw in a few bits of vine for now, again, just to get that general idea of what we're doing. And at this point, I'm again feeling that little bit more inspired also as well to take on that greenery theme and really amplify it. I hadn't put too much on at this point, but seeing how the curves and the colors look really nice with the greenery, I really just wanted to go sort of full green. So at this point, once I start using the green, I go back and put it in a few extra places. And again, that's another thing that slightly alters the, the iteration, the version that I had, but takes it in a, a direction where I can keep growing it. Um, at this point, like I was mentioning before, I've actually moved it all over to the Isle of Awakening and I'm actually going to build up the beach part of Cerulean Step. Um, I realized, at, I didn't realize until later than this, but I did realize at some point um, what I was struggling with, I think, was the location. So again, asking yourself questions about why am I doing this and what am I struggling with? I sort of said to myself, what is so hard about building this because I really do want to build this style. And I found that when I kind of asked myself what was the most frustrating thing about this, it was that I didn't really know what I wanted to do room by room because of the location I picked. Now, I originally wanted it around water, um, but as much as this did very much end up suiting the place I put it in, I felt very limited by where I'd put it and it was in an area where I had a few random buildings around it like the food trucks which didn't really obviously make sense. So once I sort of asked myself why is this continuing to be hard, I eventually came up with the answer of I don't think I want to build this here, I want to build this just not here. So I started thinking that night about what I could do and I went around to my different Buildertopias and I went back to my Isle of Awakening and went down to that beach and put down an instrument so that I could see where the, the borders are and realised that whole beach and all of that interesting cliff on the side is um, part of a settlement so we can have functional buildings in there and it's fine to build non-functional buildings but I just really feel more inspired to build things when people go to use them um, so I realized I, I immediately got sort of excited at the thought of building what I was already building in that location and it it solidified for me I guess the answer to the question what was so frustrating about this and the answer was the frustrating thing was I didn't want to build where I was building so now I've actually moved it up behind where the castle was at Cerulean Step I've gotten rid of the castle and we're gonna have this building when it's all done it's gonna be like a noble castle now um, and it's gonna be overlooking the cliff and the nice lower part of town and behind the castle um, behind this castle where the original castle was is now going to be a vineyard and an orchard and all of the different sort of farming things that we're going to need um, which is going to look great um, in terms of the island layout that I'm planning and I'll go into later but also on top of that what it's going to do is have a great functionality because between where we're putting the castle and uh, where the actual teleport is is where I've got my builders hut from my original tutorials 
So what that means is I've got all my crops in the location that I originally had my hut anyway, and I immediately started thinking of all these different ideas, you know, different things that I could build in different parts of the cliffs. And so that made me really keen. I had to kind of struggle to get out this video because I do just want to go start building there. Um, but I thought it was, like I said, something we all get stuck with. So it was really important to sort of share with you guys my little tips for, you know, doing this sort of stuff when you're feeling stuck. So here I had decided, like I said, I wanted the throne room and a few things like this. So I was testing out the idea of having a glass floor, which I ended up making with all different flowers. And I figured because it wasn't visible from the front, I could use a few more colors that I wasn't using on the outside. The outside I'm using a lot more red and white in terms of the flowers. And I threw in some yellow and blue on the inside here. And then I carried some of that yellow through the throne room when I originally did it just to sort of help the colors sort of lead into each other and not look too sort of jarring that suddenly there's one color over here, but not over there. And so for the next um, part of this series for this build, um, which looks like it's gonna turn into like a full town build and I'll probably just discuss different design techniques as we go. Um, I'm not going to show everything in intricate detail about what we've done in this version of the build that's here. In the next video, I'll go through and use the footage to cut through a quick tour um, just to show what was done. But then I'll probably focus on the changes that I made to everything once I blueprinted it down. Um, and I do want to know if you guys like this kind of stuff again I'm not doing it for any other reason than I just like interacting with other people who love building and design and art um, and I do find it hard myself to find resources sometimes that are just sort of simple things that you can do to help yourself when you're not feeling creative so do um, honestly let me know if this is a kind of stuff that you enjoy or if there's any particular types of planning or processing or design that you struggle with let me know um, either here or on reddit or on facebook because i would love to help and i'll get another video out to you guys shortly